We're going to navigate to our WordPress directory, our content and our themes, drag our folder to our themes folder. You'll see now that your theme content has been loaded and what you can do is just activate it right away. And this is our original content. This is directly from our design, but we can actually upload uh, any Im image. We can change the text as you've just seen. Let's actually go back and let's do this. Let's just save it. Let's refresh. In today's example, what we're going to do is our first WordPress export from Adobe XD. Now, before I literally jump right in, I'm just actually going to give you a quick peek as to how your WordPress design would look, simply because it's very different than your HTML. You'll notice here that off the bat WordPress, uh, we have a lot of theme styles that are required simply because if you do not include these, WordPress will use the default HTML style. So this way you can control uh, virtually everything in WordPress directly from XD. And we have a new tag here, global, so this way you can just organize it within an artboard. So you'll see here that we have some of the required ones such as index, header, and footer. WordPress also requires a single, a page, an archive, a search. You should also have a 404, and we've also included a custom theme page, uh, just to give an example as well. Now, unlike HTML, you'll see that WordPress, we separated the design. Again, WordPress is very modular. So uh, your header and your footer are independent of your content. So you'll see here, this is our index page, our single, our page, our archive, search, 404, and our custom services. With each design, WordPress also allows for different functionality. Rather than creating your entire design with WordPress, what you have to consider are the individual posts and the post loops. And Export Kit allows you to work with this uh, in incredible ways. We have very modular designs that you can implement. So you'll see here from the, the quick structure, you'll see that you can organize your post, the loop itself. You can uh, give conditional displays such as if it has a th thumbnail, if it does not have a thumbnail. So without getting into too much detail as to how all this works, I know it seems like a lot. It is. Uh, I'm going to get into a lot of detail in subsequent videos to explain each portion in depth. Now with WordPress, what you always want to do is you want to make sure you have CSS enabled and well CSS images and dynamic in the output so ensure these are enabled uh, these options are required for WordPress and I'm also going to explain dynamic a bit more in another video as well so we're just going to export this as is let's save it now we have a blog that we've set up this is just your base blog and what we're going to do is we're going to now uh, in essence add our theme so that we can test our theme but it is missing the screenshot so what we can do is we can go back to XD you can select any artboard I'm going to use the index just to test and if you open up images what you can do is you can do a smart resize directly for WordPress and what this will do is this will actually create uh, your screenshot so you can simply just rename this to screenshot and drag this into your WordPress folder so what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our WordPress directory, our content and our themes. And we're just simply going to drag our folder to our themes folder. We can go back to our blog. Now, if we go to themes, you'll see now that your theme content has been loaded. And what you can do is just activate it right away. Now, unfortunately, you'll note that the name is index. And this is because we have not included the ability to save all your meta information in XD. So you will have to modify this in the styles when you're packaging it for your release, but it's not difficult at all. And this is our original content. This is directly from our design, but we can actually upload uh, any Im image. We can change the text as you've just seen. Let's actually go back and let's do this. Let's just save it. Let's refresh. And you'll see that it simply changed the title based on the information that we put within our custom admin. So you'll see here that we have a hello world post. And if we actually click it, it will go to the post itself with the content, with our comments, virtually everything that is required for WordPress, all based on our actual design in XD. If we were to search, you'll see that it actually goes to our search page 
Now you'll note there is some content missing such as our menu and also additional pages if we were to go back to our home page. Only one post was visible and this is uh, again based on the actual content that's within WordPress. So if we were to add an additional post, let's do it with that. And let's publish that. Let's view the posts, new test posts. Look how easy this was to add. And you'll see now that it actually lists the new post content based on our loop design within WordPress itself.